Yeah. What's the energy like around the program right now with with going into year one under Coach Anderson? It's really, it's really high. The energy level is high. I mean, everybody's excited to finally get on the field with, you know, with our new coaching staff and to show them what we have to offer. You, you have experience with the coaching staff going back to when he was hired back in December, but mm -hmm. What uh, what are your expectations going into this first fall camp, or what what he's gonna expect out of you guys as a group? I think first the you know first and foremost the thing he's gonna expect out of us is is effort, as well as many other coaches across the nation expect their teams to give effort. Well, I think that's one of the you know the big things for Coach Anderson to show that you know we can't never stop if we want to be a high tempo team. We gotta we gotta have a high motor and be able to you know last until the end of the fourth quarter and even overtime. Preparing for that high tempo, mm. what did you guys do specifically? Um, we talked a little bit about it during spring, but mm. in the off season, what did you guys? How do you prepare for a high tempo and, and constantly running and yeah. moving? And well, it's kind of it's kind of almost you have to simulate a football game. Mm. You know, you, your your conditioning has to simulate that. You know, lining up, going really fast for a short amount of time, taking a little break, getting the play, coming back, running again, sprints real quick. And that's I think that's what I think we did a good job doing that over this, this summer. <laughs> uh, talking with Josh, one of the things that he yeah. said, uh, difference in, in this coaching staff is, and, and not in necessarily a negative way, but mm -hmm. how much more efficient things are uh, with Coach Anderson. Would you agree with that? Yeah, for the short time I've been here, I've definitely seen um, more, I guess you can say more crackdown on, you know, on the seniors and a bunch of the older guys. I mean, they, they can speak for themselves, you know, seeing how there's a, a difference between the coaching staffs. But I think that the level of expectations is higher for, for players all around, it's coming in from a freshman to, to an outgoing okay. senior. Last year at this time, we didn't know if you were going to play. It looked like maybe you could get in yep. the rotation. Now you know that you're going to contribute this year yep. on the field on Saturdays. Yep. What what's it feel like for you knowing that you're going to come in and you're, you should have an impact in games? You'll be able to contribute and be out there. It feels great. I mean, obviously, if I don't become a starter, you know, I'm not going to sit and pout. I'm going to do what I can to hopefully one day become a starter. And if I get into the rotation, I'm going to give it my all. You know, it's going to it's just, it's an exciting feeling that you know I finally get able to put the jersey on and get it on the field and do what I can to win games. Uh, last year there were so many seniors on the team. You had seniors on on both sides of the ball. Now this year a lot of guys coming up like yourself. Mm -hmm. younger team uh, is it kind of nice that obviously you want to win games yeah but when you're coming into a new era a new coaching staff that you guys are going to get to find out a lot about yourself because mm -hmm. you'll be able to play so many young guys you got a, a quarterback competition it's all young guys yourself yeah, yeah you're a redshirt freshman is it nice to be able to you guys are just going to throw yourselves out there and and learn a lot about yourselves early yeah well you know we're going to see what we're made of you know a lot of people think that because we're a young team that you know we, we shouldn't deserve the respect that we get and I think they're wrong I think that you know they should watch out for us because you know we got a lot of fire we got a lot of energy and we we want to show that we are not on the bottom of the the Pac-12 North or whatever they ranked us we want to show that we are capable of being a Pac-12 champion